This is Decentraland, a virtual world that's owned by its users. And people are paying thousands of dollars in cryptocurrency for the chance to create a new virtual life online and maybe even make a profit. I'm not selling it until it's worth at least 10 million. They're the riskiest investments in the whole world. So will it be a virtual paradise or a crypto property bubble? In Decentraland, users can build whatever they can imagine on plots of virtual land. The world has been set up by Argentinian developers, and its first city is made up of 90,000 parcels of land 10 metres squared. At auction, people paid more than $28 million for plots, that's over £22 million, pounds, making it the largest ever sale of virtual land. Sam Clare was one of those who paid for a plot. I'd watched a film about virtual reality and I liked the idea of owning virtual land. Um, but I also wanted a platform where I can go and mess around and, and, and play about with virtual reality. Sam's plot is in the northwest of the city and costs around $900. That's just under £700. This literally, this popped up and I was like, it's near this area that, that, that a few of my friends are in, a few of my friends might actually get in. So you can all hang out in virtual reality? Basically, yeah. It'll be pretty much exactly the same as Facebook, except you'll be able to hear and see each other um, be it in VR. So a bit more of a real experience. As long as we've got the internet, stick our headsets on and uh, we'll be able to have friends come around my house in Decentraland or I can go to their house for a virtual cup of tea. The record price for a square of land so far is $180,000, paid for a plot near the city's central plaza where virtual visitors first arrive. That's made people who bought land early on question just how much it might be worth now. How high would the price have to get for you to sell that land? Yeah, I'm not selling it until it's worth at least 10 million. 10 million? Yeah. Whoa, someone's paid 10,000. Sam shows me plots that are being listed for resale for six bigger sums. Purchases are made in a cryptocurrency called Mana. When I met Sam, one Mana was just over 10 cents. This one here, for example, is 8 million Mana, which is over $800,000. 800,000? That's nearly a million dollars. A million dollars? But it doesn't exist. It does here, and it will do, in about a year, I believe. But the amount of money people are investing doesn't mean the world will be a success. What matters really is, will it be a good game that people want to play? They've got some talented people involved, and they are gamers themselves. I'm sure that they won't try to create something bad, and they'll... It should at least be half decent, but we'll see if it really captures the imagination. If people who do not give a hoot about blockchains want to play the game. That will be the measure of whether this has been a success. To try and attract visitors, there are plans to build themed neighbourhoods. Things like Festival Land, Vegas City and even a university. They're currently being built up by virtual artists. But the creators are giving BBC Trending a sneak peek of what the city will look like when it launches. Right, well... <laughs> Okay, I seem to be on some sort of dance floor. I can hear music. It's very colourful. Yeah, sort of in an outdoor club world when they were moving uh, through the trees. It's very surreal because there's different elements all mishmashed together. So it seems to be like a zombie just out in the distance. Oh gosh, he's coming right at me. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> scary. <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole different world in there. It's all colourful, it's like being in some sort of cartoon land. And it feels huge. So that the world will load properly on VR headsets and desktop browsers, developers are using these blocky, retro-looking graphics to build up their land. And unlike other virtual worlds, once you've built it, no one can knock it down. In other virtual worlds, uh, it's usually operated by a central company and all the land, all the content resides in their servers. So users uh, have the risk that if the company goes out of business or if they decide to change the rules, uh, users are at risk of losing all the content and all the creations that they have built. The developers plan to eventually withdraw from the platform and leave the running of Decentraland to the plot owners. So could it be overrun by undesirable content? They want to make a world which is where you're completely free to do whatever you want with no central control, no authority. 
completely decentralized. That has the obvious hazard of trolls and griefers who come along and mess up your game. If you don't have a way to deal with them, um, then eventually they will turn your social platform into a trash mound. The content that is uploaded by users, uh, it cannot be removed by anyone, not even ourselves or a government. However, people get the chance to see certain content and filter out others. So ultimately, there will be filters that will be set up by the community. The plan is for users to spend mana on goods and experiences in the world when it's all built. Right now, we've got an economy of around a couple of tens of millions of dollars. And we hope to expand that to billions at, at least. Sam's optimistic that there will be enough visitors for his virtual plot of land to turn a real profit. I'm planning on building a um, virtual reality art gallery. I have a lot of friends that um, have art or artists and I'd like to set up a system where they can showcase their art. Someone can come along, buy that art, then maybe I get a cut, maybe Decentraland get a cut and they get their cut of course. Cryptocurrency based investments have proved to be extremely volatile, so should the advice be buy it beware. All of this could go to zero. They're the riskiest investments in the whole world. I would think that the best way to think of it is more like a um, Kickstarter or something, where you're not buying a product, but you're throwing money at someone's idea because you really want it to happen.